Hello everyone, this is Pamper Chew. I um, couldn't get my uh, VCR to work for my portable video camera, so I made a cable that basically connects to... Well here, let me show you. This is the kind of cable that my camera takes. Okay. Well I found the other end that had, uh, it just needed basically 12 volts power. And so I found a power supply for 12 volts. It's plugged in the wall right now. But I can later hook up a battery pack if I want to make it portable. So I have a working camera, but I do not have um, anything to record yet. But that's still good. I have a working camera. You can see behind me the TV that I have the camera plugged into right now. Uh, I'm gonna pause the camera for a minute and turn off steady shot so you can get a better picture. Okay, I just turned off steady shot. So now it should be getting a better picture of the TV. Let's look at something bright here. Oh, well here's the camera that I have plugged in right now. Now I got this from school when I was in high school. Um, my video teacher was retiring and this was a lot of his old equipment that he was just going to throw away. So he let me have it. Um, I put this wide angle lens on the end here. As a, ooh, microphone works. That's good. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, get out of the screen here. Let me zoom up to the t TV. Now you can see a reflection of other stuff in the room. Just ignore that. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is see what I can pick up. I'll look right at you. There is the camera. Now this has uh, automatic zoom or manual zoom. Manual zoom is faster. And once I zoom in, then I focus. Now, once I get a capture card, I'll hook this directly into the computer. But there's the video camera that's recording me right now. And over to the left is a fursuit head. Haha, <laughs> very nice. Let's uh, see if I can get some video outside. Oh, it looks much better outside. Now these probably don't work very well in low light. They use a, a tube instead of a CCD. Let's zoom in there. Focus. Hey, that looks pretty good. Now that wide angle lens is distorting the edges. I'm gonna take that off right now. Oh, there we go. Someone on a bicycle. Okay, so zoom into this truck across the street. Ah, much better zoom with that wide angle lens off. Bike route. Okay, I'm going to bring it back inside. And look right at the TV. Trippy. Now, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it leaves it light trails. That's something that these two cameras would do. In studio lighting, you would have trails if there was a bright spot in a dark area. Once you go outside, you don't really notice it. So these are definitely better outside in bright light. Now this one here has a little knob to adjust the color temperature. I can make it warm or cool. I can also adjust the iris. Open the iris up a little more. Um, so if I was inside, I'd probably want the iris open up. And if I was in really bright light, I might want to bring it down. So there's some manual features. Another thing this one has is a little switch here that swaps filters in and out. One is for uh, outside. One is for fluorescent lighting, 
and the other one is for incandescent lighting. You can see right there. Now this camera was at a high school, so the students abused it. Uh, the pickup tube does not look very good. If you just do a black screen, there's a lot of noise. You probably can't tell on this. But let me um, hook up another camera. I got a few of these things. I have a similar one right here. It's also Panasonic, and I got this at a thrift store for $10, and it's in excellent condition. It has a, a separate uh, eyepiece instead of one built on top. So I think it's a little bit older. But the same same dials on the back, same switch on the side as that one I just, just had plugged in. Um, all of these old cameras, the foam on the microphone rotted off. So there's no protection on there. But that's, that's okay for now. I can fix that. Let me unravel this cord here. Okay, now the neat thing about this one is it has this little shoulder thing, so you can kind of hold it like that. I like this one a lot better. It's a little more professional to have a eyepiece to the side instead of on top. Let's plug it in. Now, I always set it in standby before I plug it in. And it's just a little connector here. Okay, so once it's plugged in, I'll turn it in. The signal went to the TV, flashed, and now it's warming up. Just a second here. There should be a picture. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's a much nicer picture. Okay, let's see what I got here. Get out of the way. And there's a plushie. Can you focus on him? Oh, good plushie. And over to the left, I have some cute diapers. And up here, I have a clock that the battery is dead. And outside, let's take a look outside here. Now, this is the same, probably the same pickup tube, it's just in a lot better condition. So it does work a lot better indoors. It has been burnt out. There's the TV. Down below I have my toolbox. You can probably barely see it now. And I'll switch the iris open. Well, it's not really working. I'll put that back in standby. So once I get um, something I could record, it's just a standard composite. So it shouldn't be too hard to find something that'll record. Building a battery pack won't be too hard either. Now here's a little little one I have. Now the tube is actually in the handle, and there's a mirror. This doesn't have a uh, CRT in the eyepiece. It's actually just pass through. You can see right through it. It's just a lens. Little teeny thing too. It's a lot smaller viewfinder. Well, let's plug it in and see what kind of picture it makes. Well, there it goes. Starts up. Yeah. It's uh, not so bad. Definitely an outdoor camera. Let's see if I can look at my plushie. Yeah. It's not too bad. Over here. Let's see if I can zoom out. But that's the technology. It's good for outdoors. Testing, testing. Hey, the microphone works on this too. Um, most of these cameras have a, a button to record and pause because the, the recorder was usually on your side in a bag and you would hit record play and it would, it would go in standby for recording. And then as soon as you hit that button, it would start recording. And then when you stopped, tape would stop, it would go back, and then it would find the last frame and wait for you to hit the button again. Well, there you go. Tube cameras. Bye.